Hello friends, welcome to data visualization using R and ggplot2. In this session, we are learning parallel plot, a very powerful plot type to make sense of data, to send the message most effectively. As an example here, I have compared four varieties of a crop, say chickpea, for different yield parameters. Please note that this is not true data, it's a made up one. Here we can see that variety C is best for total seed yield and seed weight but poor at biomass and protein content. Whereas variety A is best for protein content and variety D is best for biomass. As per need, we can make decision to go for required variety because we have visualized trends and patterns in the data. The similar ranking can be done to understand performance of a class in various subjects or performance of different teachers teaching same course. Ranking is central to many decision making and parallel plot can make this easy. We will start with most basic of parallel plot and we will install a package ggplot2. We can install using the install.packages command and package we want to install is ggla and when we run this ggla will be installed i have installed it therefore i will not go for that you can install the package through install packages also install packages uh, type the package name there install the package install okay i have installed it i will not install it again after installation call the library library ggla and we will use here dataset iris. We will see what is there in dataset iris. It is a morphometry of flower iris. Uh, 50 flowers each of three varieties of iris. The uh, sepal length, petal length, sepal width, petal width, petal width have been measured. And uh, this is the head of that dataset iris. We will start with a function gg pair cord. The first argument is data and here we are using iris then column the first argument is columns and first four columns sepal length sepal width petal length petal width we are going to use therefore I will give this four column and this command will give us the basic parallel plot. This is a very basic plot now we will add arguments to make more sense of it the first argument is group column. And this group column will separate the categories and will group using column 5 that is spaces. We will run it. And these three spaces got different colors. And now we can make sense that this Setosa species has more sepal width as compared to others. And Virginica species has more petal length and more petal width as compared to other flowers. To make the plot more attractive, we will make the data points visible. Show points. And here logical values will be there. Default is false. We'll use true so that points will be visible. We'll run it. Points are visible. Now we will use another one to adjust size of these lines. These lines are called as alpha lines. And the size is in the range. And the size is in the range 0 to 1. We'll use 0 0.3. I will run it. And now uh, lines are thinner and quite visible. We will see the effect of increasing the line size. We will make it 0 0.8 and we will run it. Lines are thicker. Plot appears crowded. We will make it again 3. Now we will see effect of scaling. To see the arguments I will take it down. And here after comma I will use scale. And scale takes 4 arguments. First is global min max where no scaling is done. And scaling is done to minimize effect of wide range of variables. We will run it to see effect of scaling. And this range is there. It appears that sepal length is very large. And sepal width is also very large. We can't see the differences clearly between the different varieties. Now to see those we will try to change the scaling. Next scaling is uni min max. And we'll see that in Unimax, Uniminmax scaling is done in the range 0 to 1. And here we can see the uh, that data is standardized properly. And petal length and petal width of Setosa 
is very less as compared to others another is center center scaling is there and you can find out details of scaling from other sources and this is the center scaling effect of center scaling and default is standard we'll see the effect of standard now and this is the standard scaling now we'll start customizing this plot and for customization we can use ggplot functions here we'll first use the theme function theme and we'll use theme black and white it's black and white using labs function we'll add titles title equal to parallel plot now title is there we'll remove this x and y axis titles x is equal to empty space in double quotes y is equal to empty space in double quotes this x and y labels will not be there you can explore more to understand more about customization you can use all the functionality of ggplot2 to decorate this plot to customize this plot we can customize the color of the plot by using function scale color scale underscore color underscore manual and as argument we will use values values is equal to vector c red green blue and run and color got changed as we ordered it we can highlight a specific series by changing the colors again here i will highlight the first setosa series i will make other colors gray this next series color will also be gray only the setosa will be visible this is highlighting red is not looking good therefore we'll make it blue okay, a good plot all the ggplot2 functions can be used to customize the plot to make an appealing story then start plotting use the power of r and ggplot2 happy coding thank you for watching the video press the like button if you have liked it your likes will be a motivation to make more such videos share with your friends or use it to teach to your class and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it thank you for watching